Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz has still not received the financial information he requested from the Guam Memorial Hospital. He says without this transparency, the hospital can't expect the legislature to approve a massive borrowing plan. They're here before the legislature asking for authority to take out a bond for $150 million, $160 million. It's like you going to the bank. You're going to borrow some money. What does the bank want? Proof of employment. Your last two paychecks. You're probably the last two tax returns. This is, I'm um, BPARE, you know I work. I don't know how much you make. That's why I want to see your financials, so I know how much I can give you. Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz had to FOIA GMH for financial information that is required by law to be published on their website. They finally responded to his FOIA request, but not with all the information he was requesting. One page. One page. As of May 31st of this year. I wanted to know how it's been, what has happened in July of last year, what happened in August and September, all the way. Cruz says the law that requires this financial transparency was signed by the governor. And he says GMH filed these reports religiously until after June of 2015, when the GMH board resigned and the governor and his new management team took over. What is it that you don't want me to know about? When I asked the question about how much was not billed, I'd be able to see it in the transparency reports. But to give me one page for the last 12 months, but they still want us to get this bill out next week, but won't give us the data. What are you gonna do now if they don't give you any more information? Well, what would the bank do? Would you get the loan from the bank? Of course not. Not a reasonable bank. Cruz says the financial reports he's looking for show how much discounts are given to various people and entities.